fermented wild garlic scones. This is a delicious recipe and the fermented wild garlic packs so much flavour and adds a level of acidity that the buttermilk or yoghurt would add in a traditional scone recipe. So to make it, all you need to do is sieve your dry ingredients. This will get rid of any lumps and bumps and open up the mix. Add your butter in. I'm using a flavoured butter, but just standard butter is fine. Rub this until you get a nice fine breadcrumb consistency. Add the chopped fermented wild garlic, mix that in, and then slowly start to add your beaten egg until a dough starts to form. If it doesn't, you can add a drop of milk. Get your hands in there now so you can feel it and give it a good mix. And once that dough comes together, it should clean the, the edges of the bowl. There shouldn't be any floury bits on there and it shouldn't be too wet. Let this rest for 15 minutes minutes and then you'll be able to roll it out and you can see now it's nice and elastic and stretchy and that's the sort of thickness you want not too thin they're going to double in size remember and then with a floured cutter cut them out onto a tray and you should get about eight to ten scones from this recipe any trim you can rework once and cut your scones out just gently kind of form the dough together and then anything after this I generally just cut up and bake for the chef's perk. Egg wash the scones and this will create a nice glaze. Let these rest for 15 minutes again before baking them in the oven at about 180 degrees and they take about 20 minutes. But look at that, 